OpenAI just dropped the biggest chat GPT update yet. Meet Canvas, the new feature. Folks, ever imagine working with AI in real time like a teammate, a teammate who knows everything? Well, OpenAI just launched Canvas, a tool set to change how we use AI in complex projects. But is this update really all it's cracked up to be? What sets Canvas apart from what's already out there? Let's dive in now and trust me, you'll want to know how this could change your work game. First off, Comment below if you think AI could really be your work buddy on complex projects. If you're already using AI to boost productivity, tell us your go-to tool in the comments. Let's chat. Don't forget to like and share this video link in WhatsApp and Telegram groups to keep your friends updated on this topic. Got it? Let's continue. If you've used ChatGPT for emails or code, you know it's good but struggles with longer complex projects. OpenAI noticed this and introduced Canvas. It's a new interface that takes ChatGPT beyond the basic chat window. Now you can work alongside AI in a dedicated space. Instead of just typing commands, you and ChatGPT can refine ideas together. Generate text or code in Canvas, highlight areas for AI focus and get suggestions or rewrites. Canvas is now in beta for ChatGPT users, plans and teams. Enterprise and Edu plan users will get access next week. Once out of beta, everyone will have access, even free users. For now, you need a paid plan to use it. To activate, select GPT-4 with Canvas beta in the model menu or just type use Canvas in chat. Interestingly, ChatGPT auto opens Canvas when it's useful, like for complex writing tasks. For writers, this tool is a game changer. In a demo, OpenAI's product manager showed how Canvas generates emails. Ask ChatGPT to write an email and it opens in Canvas with various tools available. Want a shorter email? There's a slider to adjust the length. Plus, you can highlight a phrase and ask ChatGPT to make it friendlier or add emojis for a casual vibe. You can also translate the entire email into another language directly in Canvas. The final Polish feature reviews grammar, clarity, and consistency, making your text ready to send without word-by-word -word revision. For blog posts, social media, or longer docs, ChatGPT can suggest improvements, edits, or even rewrite the whole text. You can switch between versions if you don't like changes, just revert to the previous one. For programmers, Canvas really shines. Most use ChatGPT for small code issues or APIs, but it's not ideal for bigger projects. With Canvas, OpenAI added features making coding more collaborative and trackable. When you generate code, it appears in Canvas. You can add comments with one click. This is great for those who prefer direct documentation, you can also highlight code sections and ask ChatGPT to explain or answer specific questions. And there's more. There's a code review button that analyzes the whole script and suggests edits. If ChatGPT spots an error or improvement, it suggests changes you can approve, adjust, or reject. If approved, ChatGPT attempts to fix the code automatically. Besides getting help, you work with AI to improve your code, other features, add logs, comments, fix bugs, port code to JavaScript, PHP, Java, C++, etc. This new AI tool goes beyond just programming. It seamlessly integrates into your workflow, boosting efficiency at every step. The Canvas concept is part of a bigger shift in the AI industry. ChatGPT and other AI models are more than just answer providers now. We're entering an era where AI AI becomes a real-time collaborator, even predicting your needs. Sounds amazing, right? AI chatbots have always had limitations. They can't handle big projects with a single command. You need to tweak, redo, and sometimes start over. But Canvas solves a lot of that problem. Instead of creating new commands, you can edit and refine your work directly in the Canvas window. And OpenAI isn't alone in this. Anthropic launched artifacts months ago, and Google's Gemini is doing something similar. It's a race to see who offers the best AI-powered collaborative workspace. Now an interesting tidbit.
Some key Canvas developers are no longer at OpenAI. Co-founder John Skillman left in August for Anthropic, a direct OpenAI competitor. ex CTO Mira Maradi and VP of Research Barrett Z also left before Canvas launched. Still, OpenAI remains confident. At an event, OpenAI's product head Kevin said this won't slow them down. He believes 2025 will be the year AI systems become truly mainstream, not just as tools but as digital agents capable of performing tasks independently. So what's next for OpenAI and Canvas? This beta version is just the beginning. OpenAI plans to make Canvas smarter with faster triggers and more advanced features. They aim to improve edit transparency in code, making AI changes easier to track. GPT-4, Canvas's engine, was trained on AI data to better activate and edit. But it wasn't all smooth sailing. A key challenge, teaching AI to distinguish small edits from full rewrites. They fine-tuned the model to rewrite only when truly necessary, especially for programming tasks. This calibration is key as no one wants AI making needless changes or overhauling work when a simple fix would do. Competition between OpenAI, Anthropic and Google is intensifying with lots of innovation on the horizon. If Canvas excites you, it's worth trying if you have access to chat GPT Plus or Teams. Ultimately, I believe OpenAI's Canvas launch is a major leap for AI professionals in writing and coding. What impresses me most is how AI is evolving from just answering queries to becoming a true work partner. Canvas seems to be the missing piece to streamline processes, simplify edits, and even anticipate needs. Sure, challenges remain like rewriting issues, but it's exciting to see AI becoming part of our daily work life. Now I'd love to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this development? Do you think Canvas will truly change how we collaborate with AI? If you use AI to boost your productivity, let us know in the comments. This video doesn't end here. The conversation continues in the comments section. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe.